Last Friday was interesting. In the USA, the Supreme Court ruled gay marriage is legal in all 50 states and was otherwise punctuated by several terrorist attacks. Having time only to talk about the former, I didn't really have much of a reaction to the news. I previously made three different videos in support of gay rights, mostly on financially conservative and economic or civil liberty grounds. But despite all the effort, I just stared at the article for a couple minutes. For me, it was a moment of reflection as I looked back on my own journey from being fundamentally against gay marriage to being in favor. Those who have seen some of my older videos may know already, I was raised with church attendance from around age 5, plus 7 years of private religious schooling. In school, I was told America was a Christian nation founded on the Bible, that it was being corrupted by secularists that wanted to force evolutionism onto people to justify their sinful lifestyle choices, and was told any true Christian believed practicing gays deserved the death penalty, as was biblically mandated. My church was better... for a while. It was a pretty long road from drawing internment camps to equal rights, which took about a decade as I sorted out reality from everything I was told. It led me to a few uncommon reasons for supporting gay marriage. The best example is probably a video I made about a year ago in regards to estate planning and handling the expenses associated with heirs and deaths and how civil unions and domestic partnerships weren't as functional as an actual marriage when it came to dealing with these issues. Since I had never heard anyone talk about estate planning as a reason, I figure I had something fairly unique to contribute. So I contributed. It's funny how much things can change over the course of a decade. In 2009, I was taking a college English class, and despite it being college, where you're supposedly going if you already have a modicum of common sense, the class came to the consensus that America was being intolerant by not printing all languages on signs. I pointed out that printing every language on a sign was a practical impossibility, and that some languages didn't even have written versions, and was immediately called a racist, with several people yelling at me. One even said I had racial prejudices I needed to personally reflect on. English, German, French, Russian, and Spanish, that's all the languages, yes siree, Bob. What do you mean, Navajo? Is that a salad? Ah, good times. Actually, no, they weren't. Being around crazed fundamentalists and then sheltered quasi-adults, both of which were completely detached from reality, probably didn't do wonders for my mental state. Tomorrow is the 4th of July, where we in America celebrate the Declaration of Independence, even though I had to read it myself in my downtime because it was never shown to me in school. But I did. I used the magic of interwebs and found it. And much of my perception of what the country was founded on has changed over time. Things change. Times change. People change. Change for the changer of ways. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's remember this November, actually June whatever, to thank the gays for supporting this country with our wedding industry stimulus package and tax revenue. Have fun, and the IRS will be by shortly. In a world of constant change, only two things are certain. Death and taxes. I'll see you next time.